Kunal Bhai has around 5 years of experience in mobile app development. He is currently working as a senior application engineer in raw engineering company which is located in Vika, uh, Virar. We have many of our youths also working there. He is continuously guiding our youths in mobile app development, how they can progress their career. So we will like to call uh, Kunal Bhai to give us some insights about mobile app development, uh, what is the future prospect and just to give us an overview. Thank you. Kunal Bhai looks like an intern, but he is himself a senior developer and is a very good experience. He's also, he also got an award from Google. Thank you Suraj Bhai and Nishkam Bhai for that quick introduction. Uh, so, so far we are having a great sessions going on. Very deep insights and very meaningful insights are going on. Let's put some light on the mobile app development. So, how many of you have purchased new phones with the latest iOS and Android versions from last one year or one and a half years? Who have purchased new phones, right? From last one and a half year, right? Most of us have purchase the phones. So the pace with which these mobile technologies are growing is tremendous, right? So now, why app development is important? Because two-third of the world's population is on mobile, right? Each one of us is using mobile device for one or the other purpose. India is a mobile first market. So the reason is like we must have experienced that previously we were using websites more. For example, if we are booking a ticket, we were using websites. But now, everything, every app, banking app, every app is on mobile now. This is very interesting. From last to last year, uh, I got a chance to attend a Google seminar where they mentioned that only 10% of 2 million developers of India, there are total 2 million developers in India. Out of that, only 10% were mobile app developers, right? But now that bar has been increased to 25%. And that is increasing because every year there has been advancements in the mobile technologies. Now there are two categories if you want to develop an app. So what are the two pathways? You need to understand these two categories. So the first category is the native development. Let's come to the native apps. So what is basically native development? So native app development is basically developing apps for a specific platform. So let's say you want to develop an app, you are developing only for Android or only for iOS, right? So for Android, Android is owned by Google. So they have developed a tool called as Android Studio for developing Android apps. And the language that is used is Kotlin or Java. You can use either of the language to develop that app. Second one is the iOS, right? iOS is owned by Apple and Apple has developed a tool called as Xcode. If you want to develop an iOS app, you need to use that Xcode tool to develop that app and the language uh, then it, that you need to implement is either Swift or either Objective-C. Now, to choose these categories, what is the winning factor, right? You need to take one path, either a native or a hybrid. So what is the winning factor? What is your consideration? So, the performance. Performance in case of native is very high because the native app development is directly uh, related to their owner, right? So, the performance is very high in the case of native app development. Uh, there is flexibility in UI, right? You can develop very good user interfaces with the latest animations with that. Faster developments. The time of development is very fast. Easy debugging and maintenance. So, when you develop apps for native, the debugging of errors is very good. They have a very good support available on the stack workflows and other websites. Separate code. The only disappointing factor for, for the native apps is we need to write a separate code for Android and separate code for iOS. Uh, the second factor, the second track, you can say that there's a hybrid app development. So, hybrid app is basically using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, as Santosh Bhai mentioned, the web technologies. So, using these web technologies, we can also de design, we can also develop an app. So, this comes under the hybrid 
categories. So the frameworks that are used in order to develop the hybrid apps is famous frameworks. There are lots of frameworks. There are 15 to 20 frameworks in order to develop a hybrid app. I have mentioned five here. That is React Native, uh, developed by uh, owned by Facebook, which uses JavaScript. Flutter owned by Google, which uses Dart language. Then there is Xamarin that uses C Sharp. Ionic uses JavaScript again, Mobile Angular UI. So the winning factor, the deciding factor uh, of you choosing a hybrid app over a native app is the same code base. You are writing a same code that works on all the platforms. So this is one strong point to consider this. Also the cost of development is less because if there are two developers, an Android and iOS, so here we require only a single developer that works on both the platforms. Again, with the use of these frameworks, the development is faster. The internet limitations, because these are developed on the web technologies, so internet usage is limited, like the offline access is, we get the limited access to that. And poor user experience, right? So sometimes the performance is not that fast because it is developed on the web technologies rather than directly on the native. So web tech, uh, so your hybrid apps, they convert their HTML, CSS into the native. So there is a conversion factor involved. So the performance is sometimes affected. That depends on your framework. Let's come to the app development life cycle. So what is, what is the role of an app developer? And I'll, I'll tell you that, get insight on that. So first is analysis, right? It all starts with an app idea. So the core persons, the managers, and the concerning persons, they develop the app idea, they do their analysis, and they develop their wireframes with the help of UI designer. The prototyping is done. After that, using the Photoshop and Illustrator and all that skills, from the UI designer, we, app developer, get the prototypes, and we start designing that for Android or iOS. Right? We start writing codes at, so that we can design that screen. Then we write the logic to, so how your app should have a workflow, how the database should flow within the app, and all those things, all the logic we write for the apps. Third part, we submit it for the QA, for, for the review process and client for the review process to get their feedback. And once their feedback is approved, we upload that version, we do the deployment in the Play Store or an Apple App Store. Okay? So this is what a cycle of the app development is. Innate skills and the strength that is required. So the first one is problem solving. So every software developer has to have the skills, software development, passion to learn. So this is very, very important because every year Google and Apple has their conferences in California that uh, every year they develop, they come up with a new version of Android, right? So the current version of Android is Android R. They released in the Feb 19, 2020. So the Android version is 11 and they have renamed it as R. It's in the beta version, right? So it is very important that you have a passion to learn new technologies, new things, because every year there is advancements and securities coming up. Third thing is the communication skills. An app developer has to communicate with backend guys, UI guys, with clients, with project managers. So communication skills is very important. Attention to detail, because you are going to put a website into a mobile app. So it is very important that you that you don't miss out some like animations or simple things, right? You need to have a very good user experience within that small screen of app. So that attention to detail is very important. Okay. So before ending that, मुझे story बोलने के जब मैंने engineering में pass out किया, I passed out on 2014. मैंने छः साल पहले engineering complete किया. उसके बाद में मुझे placements में Android का job मिला सामने से. और मैंने पूरा प्रिपरेशन जावा में किया था क्योंकि मेरे सारे बैचमेट्स जो है वो जावा के लिए प्रिपेयर कर रहे थे और मैं भी ऐसे ही टेक्नोलॉजी चूज करना चाहता था जो सब लोग करते हैं सो मैंने जावा के लिए अप्रोच किया मैंने इंटरव्यू भी जावा के लिए दिया बट मेरा जो ऑफर लेटर आया उसमें एंड्रॉइड लिख के आया सो so, मैं मेरे पूरे बैच में से मैं अकेला एक एंड्रॉइड डेवलपर हायर हुआ तो थोड़ा इनसिक्योरिटी हुआ कि भाई इसका फ्यूचर क्या है तभी मैं बात कर रहा हूँ छः साल पहले जब गैलेक्सी नोट थ्री अभी तो टेन आया है गैलेक्सी नोट टेन Galaxy Note 3 and 4 हुआ करता था and HTC One, HTC के series अभी तो HTC भी नहीं चलता है तो तभी मैं बहुत insecure था कि ये सब चलेगा कि नहीं so निश्चित बाई से एक बार पूछा कि I want to change my job into something good Java or anything 
सो निष्का मैंने बोला कि लेट्स ट्राई इट फॉर टू ईयर्स एंड लेट्स गिव अ सर्टिफिकेशन सर लेट्स डू सम सर्टिफिकेशन सो इसमें मैंने चालू किया जॉब भी चालू किया और सर्टिफिकेशन भी चालू किया बट अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ निष्काम बाय मैं एज एन इंटर्न जब मागोसा में कर रहा था वहाँ पे मुझे बहुत कुछ सीखने मिला राइट right? तो धीरे 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 वो स्किल्स डेवलप हुआ एंड आई वाज रेडी टू गिव अ सर्टिफिकेशन एंड गूगल ने तो अभी फर्स्ट टाइम वो सर्टिफिकेशन लॉन्च किया था एंड आई गॉट अ चांस टू हिट दैट सर्टिफिकेशन एंड गॉट अ गुड स्कोर सो सो दैट इज माई स्टोरी दैट because of swamiji's grace because of this guidance under the gui- mentorship program so i was able to get a i was achieve i was able to achieve a milestone right so we are very fortunate to be a part of this mentorship program great to see you all thank you jai sangh maharaj who like to say one word for one sentence for kunal bhai murti lahan darshan mahan <laughs> achieved lot of things and is really progressing very good in his career